It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted? sports stars, athletes, musicians, some of the world's most elite A-listers call California home, like me. Ha, hi everyone, I'm just kidding, I'm Dana Devon, but you may know me as the WAP Wonder. Now from the top, make it drop, that's some wet and cushy, now get a bucket and a mop, that's some wet and cushy, I'm talking WAP, WAP, WAP. Oh, I got into that Cardi B challenge a few weeks back, and wow, did I want to whop around like that all the time and go full on diva. Well, you know, if you ever need some swagger, do it. But what if you're not a TikTok star? Or have your name on a billboard or car, just saying, still can't believe that. But we've got you with this Trends with Benefits. Hi. Hi there. Welcome to JSX Burbank. Thank you. How are you? Doing well. How are you this morning? Good. If I can just have you scan your photo ID right here, please. Okay. And place it face up in this tray. All right. All right. You're all set here. Hey, Dana. Hi. Welcome to JSX. By the way, I happen to know that you have no weapons, no explosives, and no fever. How do you know that I didn't go through? We have a completely passive, state-of-the-art TSS security system. We're the first air carrier to have it system-wide. I don't have to take off my shoes, they don't go through my bag? Nope, you're already It's done? Fly. It's done. This is the lounge, Dana. You can go inside if you want air conditioning or heat, depending on the season, or you can stay out here at a nice social distance place. We've got coffee, we've got tea. Uh, it's all complimentary, by the way. What is your cheapest flight? Our flight started just $79. You can just go to JSX.com, buy a ticket, and go. $79, so virtually a private plane experience for commercial flight prices. I'm Jen, one of your pilots, and this is Miriam. Nice our to first meet officer. you. And our flight attendant today is Hi. Jen. Now that we're socially distanced and on board, I'll take off my mask. Okay. We do require these in flight on board at all times, but since it's just me and you on the airplane, We'll do it like this. How did you find this niche? If you're going to the Bay Area or you're going to Las Vegas, whether you fly or drive, it's like four or five hours either way. That's not what flying is supposed to be like. You know, flying is supposed to be faster and more convenient and more pleasant. We acquired five airplanes uh, five years ago, and it was kind of an experiment. And we said, if we fly from private terminals in short haul markets, uh, will people come? They are coming. This looks like a private plane, but at commercial flight prices. We spent a lot of time and money completely gutting the airplane and putting in a whole brand new interior to make it look much more like a private jet. Do you know what the biggest difference is between commercial jets and private jets? No. Overhead bins. There aren't any. And that means there aren't people dragging bags up and down the aisle. No one's going to stand over you for two minutes trying to shove their bag in, breathing on you. <laughs> By the way, when it's time to land and you get off the airplane, even if you're in the last row, you're off in 90 seconds or less. One of the mission statements that you guys have is that you don't want to nickel and dime passengers to death. What do you mean by that? That's right. We bring everything complimentary, whether it's uh, snacks or beverages or even cocktails. Adult beverages are on the house here as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would love a sanitizing wipe. Cheers. Cheers. And since I consider all of you stars coming up your chance to win a weekend of celebrity treatment at the Four Seasons Hotel Westlake Village, plus let them eat cake, smash cake surprises. LA Unscripted, we're just getting started. It's the only family-friendly Halloween event this year that's like a drive through We wanted to create something like if you were on a ride and be more spectacular and get the wow factor of the whole family. This thing's a mile long, so we have sections with, we have uh, Jurassic haunts, so there'll be some dinosaurs. Day of the Dead, the Dale of Yes. And then we have a creepy carnival area. Hope to see you all at our happyhalloweenla.com. <laughs> 
There's also a costume contest online that you can participate in at happyhalloweenla.com. It'll be the public opening on the 15th, and it's going to run through the 31st. And it usually starts like right at sundown, so we're looking around at like the 5 o'clock, and it's probably going to run to about 10 or ever at the last car that makes it through, if they make it through. Welcome back to LA Unscripted, where anything can happen, and today beauty is happening. I feel like I should be going like, oh! You guys, these flowers are from JL Flowers, also known as jadorlesfleurs.com. They are one of the most popular floral shops on social media and in Los Angeles. I have been a huge fan for years. I actually got these flowers for Mother's Day. I actually sent these flowers to Liberty Chan. Um, I, I love them so much because every single flower is unique. They do a lot of custom orders. I mean, honestly, you guys look at these rainbow flowers. Is that unbelievable? It's also a small mom and pop flower shop. They started around 2013 and the rest is history. They create arrangements in those hat boxes like what they mentioned, but they also can do custom arrangements. They have four locations in Los Angeles, one in Las Vegas. Also, this is the greatest thing. They're super active in their community. They've been proud partners of Children's Hospital Los Angeles. They also, I love this, have flower making workshops for the elderly and you want to follow them because I'll tell you what, they constantly gift random flower admirers who can't afford to buy their arrangements on social media. So you definitely want to follow them. This is their ice cream cone flower. Now this is really significant because Ariana Grande just gave this exact arrangement to Selena Gomez to celebrate her new, her new single ice cream. I mean, they can do like a reindeer or a giraffe, whatever. I love it so much. Look at that. I mean, the rainbow flowers. Look at like the fall colors they can do. I love that they did all the red and then the one white flower, how beautiful. And look, it's like a waterfall of flowers. I mean, how can you even, how do you even do that? And you guys saw the LA flowers for LA Unscripted down at the bottom. I mean, I can't say enough. I'm such a huge fan. Make sure to check them out. JeAdoreLeFleur.com. Thank you guys so much. We love you. We love your flowers. Coming up, what's in our LA Unscripted swag bag? An incredible staycation. Don't miss the code word to win. Plus Jessica Holmes curing hunger pains with California cooking. And I'm smashing cakes. LA Unscripted will be right back. Here are some of my backyard beauty tips and hacks with me, Brooke. So if you want to switch up your hair without having to curl it and without having to waste a lot of time and get a beachy kind of fun look, then you can just do your hair in two braids. Afterwards, we are going to flat iron the braids just to give it a little heat and a little more hold. So this is just like a quick way to get something different out of your straight hair and make it voluminous and beachy. So I'm gonna take the braids out and it's just gonna give it like a slight little wave. So I just added a little cream and gave it a tiny little tossle, but it changed it up from straight to wavy. It's just as simple as that. Welcome back to LA Unscripted, everybody. I'm Dana Devon, and you know what I noticed getting a lot of close-ups? No, not me, thank God for you. Cakes, and I am absolutely obsessed. This might be my favorite story today. Did you see Gigi Hadid's Everything Bagel Cake Boss birthday surprise? Or how about Vanessa Morgan's Lysol Quarantine Cake? The Riverdale star loving it for her 28th. And how sweet is this? Kate Mara from the Fantastic Four posted this pink confection for her daughter's first birthday. No celebration is complete without cake. And the best way to make your next cake a hit is to order it from LA Smash Cakes. Yes, have your cake and smash it too. And what we have here today are cakes made out of chocolate, but filled with a surprise and you never know what to expect. So I'm gonna start right here with this one, which I love. They made one for us called LA Unscripted. And then, I mean, how much fun is this? You get to just take it. Okay, ready? <laughs> that was so much fun, oh my God. And it's just chocolate. 
it inside, right? There's a bunch more we're gonna do. I have this so much fun. All right, so you can order and make one, your family happy at LA Smash Cake. So let's keep going. Okay, I'm gonna do this next one, which by the way is so amazingly pretty. Can you see the M&Ms? It looks like a waterfall of M&Ms, all right? Ready? This one's hard. Fun. All right, now this little baby, let's do this little baby one because they have little cute ones too. Okay. M&M's, love it. It's just so satisfying, I can't tell you. This one, okay, let's do this one. All right, how great is this? All right, I don't even know where to smash this one. Okay, let's just go. Oh my God, there's lips in here. Look, there's little lips and strawberries. Little gummy thing. Oh my God, I love this so much. This is so much fun. This is so fun. All right, how about this? Who knew? This looks so real, by the way. It's actually fake. That's not a real donut and that's not real chocolate. It's all made, I mean, not a real coffee. That's all chocolate. So we get to smash this. Ready? Woo! Oh my God, I love this so much. That is so much fun. I had so much fun. And there's gummy bears and M&Ms and chocolate. Wow, okay, you guys. And you can order one and make your family happy at lasmashcakes.com. And don't forget to follow them on social media at LA Smash Cakes. Now, you know, when I hear smash cake, I think of something a little different. Take a look. Funnel cake contest. You know, I feel like we could do this like just a little bit better. Really? Like, like yeah. Like, 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 like how? how? Like that? <laughs> like that? You know what that? Yeah. This is why we're number one. <laughs> <laughs> You're so awesome for doing that. I love you. Now that we've made this mess and had our dessert bonanza, why don't we see what Jessica Holmes is cooking up in her kitchen? This chocolate is so good. Seriously. Okay, I think this recipe, if we were to run the stopwatch, would be under 20 minutes. This is a fast one, and it's from Eating Grinch Fan. She has a new book called Eating Out Loud, and it's so quick with, I think, an ingredient that a lot of us don't cook at home. And I'll admit, scallops, I don't know that I've ever made them at home, but they're so easy and quick. That's what's great about scallops. And what is fun about this recipe is it's butter, and seafood and it's an herbed butter and it's got all these delicious fresh herbs and a few spices and that's it. It's super simple. So let me start by um, making this butter. This is my new way to keep my basil fresh, you guys. This, it, it works, it's genius. This is what you would put on top of a pie or a cake. I keep my basil under here and it's like a little greenhouse for my basil and it stays fresh and lovely. Back to my butter, unsalted butter, a stick of it. Get it to room temperature. That's the hardest part is remembering to leave it out. But I've got it right here. And to that, we're gonna do a half a cup of chopped basil. Just give this a nice chop. And I think this is one of those meals that is super fast, but it's gonna look gourmet. Because anybody that cooks scallops, people are gonna go, oh wow, you made scallops? Basil going in, now parsley. And we're gonna do a quarter cup of chopped parsley. To that, garlic clove. I like to grate it in. A half a clove or a small clove. Okay, some lemon zest. And lemon and seafood obviously go hand in hand. Lemon zest in. Teaspoon of ground coriander. And then a half teaspoon of turmeric and some salt and some pepper, we mix. Now we've got our herb butter. This is great. I'm telling you, if you don't use all of this for the scallops, keep it in the fridge, add a little bit to potatoes, steak later in the week, rice, butter, done. Got my cast iron skillet back here, medium high heat, some olive oil, and the thing about the scallops, so once I got them out of the fridge, I put them on a paper towel, I made sure they are really dry because they're a little wet. And if they're wet, they won't sear and get a nice brown. So I dried them off, salt and pepper, and then they're gonna go in 
and we're not gonna touch them for two minutes because they will stick if we try to move them too early. About two minutes on each side. Two minutes on each side, although if you have really big ones, they might need a little more time. And then you turn down to low-ish, and we're gonna add our herbed butter, and we let that melt into our pan, and it'll create a sauce for these scallops. And you baste them. You just get the butter going, and you get it on top, and we're done. These scallops smell so good. Once that butter hit them and it melted all over. So I'm gonna put them on a platter. Okay, now, this is the good bit. Squirt a lemon. Wow, that is phenomenal. I'm telling you, it's so easy, but there is so much flavor and I'm one of those people about scallops, I'm kind of like this. Not anymore. Oh my gosh, really good. And I just need a nice crusty piece of bread. Let's get all that butter. You guys, lately it seems everybody's getting in on the cooking show game and Selena Gomez is the latest one with her own cooking show. It's called Selena Plus Chef. You know Selena, she's actress, singer, used to date Justin Bieber. So now she has this new show on HBO Max where talented chefs like Antonio Lofaso, Ludo Lefebvre, Roy Choi, Nancy Silverton, and a whole lot more teach the singer how to cook in quarantine, just like everybody else learning how to cook in quarantine. Together they cook up specialty dishes from around the world. They share some great tips and tricks and they deal with everything from burning something in the oven to missing ingredients. It's a really fun and entertaining show. Her family and friends are the judges, which can be harsh, and you can learn how to make a few great recipes as well. Check it out. Are you looking for a staycation or just want to get out of the city for a day? This is the place for you. The Four Seasons Hotel Westlake Village is now open. I'm Olivia DiBortoli. Let's go check them out. Of all the places in LA, why would someone come to the um, Four Seasons Westlake Village? It's Four Seasons. B, beautiful location. And C, probably most importantly during these times, um, we really create an environment that's safe for both our staff and our guests to feel comfortable. What are some examples of these uh, precautions that you guys are taking? Great, so um, while we don't have masks on right now. Um, we're far, we're, we're far, we're so far. Uh, masks are mandated for all staff and guests. Um, we do a mandatory screening for every entrance for both employees and guests as they come into the building, um, which includes a thermal temperature scan and a list of COVID questions that you need to answer regarding the symptoms. The hotel was originally built with this uh, beautiful uh, decor which served it well for the first 14 years. Um, and through the vision of the remodel, we wanted to go with much more of a California coastal feel for the interior, um, which you can see now with the, the lighter colors, the whites, the blues, um, really uh, encapsulates the surrounding area and all that Southern California, specifically our area, has to offer. about the concept of coin and candor. Right, so we are a California brasserie, right? We, uh, our focus is uh, fresh local ingredients. What we have here, it's a uh, red snapper. So it's a wood fire red snapper uh, that we get the whole fish, we're able to, uh, we bring it from Baja California, we break it down here, we marinate it in this adobo marination, and then we slowly cook it on the wood fire. And then we just finish it with a little lime juice, fresh herbs made of uh, mint, cilantro, and chimichurri. Right, so uh, one of our top seller dishes here at the restaurant for sure. Do you want to experience all this just like I did? Well, now you can. One lucky viewer will win one full night and a full day cabana on us. All you have to do is text Lake to five one five one five one. Good luck. Amazing. Again, text the word LAKE to 515151 and don't worry, if you win, I won't be at check-in, armed with a cake, or will I?
Yeah, not two, three, three bottles of pear spray. Yeah, that's right, three. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Oh, hey Dana. How's that cake taste? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> okay, well, um, that's gonna do it. Mmm, it's a banana cream. It's really good. That's it for me for now. For more of me and I'll instruct you tomorrow. Same time, same place, same utter madness. Just do my fake eyelashes. <laughs> you know, the good news is we didn't get it on my dress. That's the good news. The good news is.